Hey guys, this is Shainu from How to Play CA. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a great sheet or a great book for yourself such that you will know where you're standing for all your classes. Uh, this is a great way to strategize for your finals. Um, you know, some in, I'm pr pretty sure you guys have classes where you just don't even have to go to the final to pass the class or you guys have uh, to get an A in the final to just pass the class. <laughs> so uh, this is a great um, you know tool to have and it's actually pretty simple. Um, you can either use an Excel or a Google Sheet. To access Google Sheet, all you need to do is go, um, go on Google Chrome and type in Google Sheets and you will go to this website and just click on go to Google Sheets and uh, hit the blank right here. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you can use one or the other. The next thing you need is your grades and also your syllabus so that way you can see your criteria. Criteria? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, so this is the percentage that you will, uh, you know, it would add up to 100 so you know, um, you know, where you're standing. Um, so yeah, go ahead, go to your grades. Uh, and type in each of this. So I have nine labs and I have A on all of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a percentage. So you have to always put the 100 percentage, not the points, but the percentage. I cannot stress that enough, guys, um, because it, it works as the, because your whole grade system is, uh, you know, in percentage. So it, it makes sense for it to be a percent. And I'm saying percent so much. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the labs right there. Let me go and look at the assignment. I have assignments. I have 100, 100, 100, 100. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 7 actually, 7 hundreds. So let me go ahead and do that. 100, 100. Oh, crap. Okay, 100, 100. Mm. All right, so that's 700. I think that's how much I have. Let me count again. Yep, that's 8. And no, it shouldn't be 7. It should be 600. All right, and now I need a calculator because this is, this is calculated in points. So you can see right here... All right, so, yep, right there, I can see 2.38, so divided by 2.5, and it tells me the percentage, so 95%, so 95.2 percentage. Um, let me do the same thing for my other class, 2.25, 0.25, divided by 2.5, should be like 90%, there we go. 90%. So that's eight eight assignments. I believe that's how much I have. Yes, I, that's all. And then there's one quiz that's being that's going to be dropping. So there's that. So I have 6.75, which is... And, you know, the funny thing here for this class, I actually have a... Um, a grade already in the top so I you know it's easier for me to know what I need to get on the final but I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how to do this because I'm pretty sure most of your professors out there don't do same thing don't do the same thing as mine so that's 90% for the quiz and then 100% for the second one Ooh, there we go all right so the exam this is this is the bad thing for me guys right here I got a B and then I got a fucking D <laughs> it like it just went down to shit after that first exam 81.25 what am i doing so yeah that's how much i have 81.25 so 81.25 and then i also have a 60 percentage for the test and now this is the sh uh this is the um place where we're gonna just go ahead and leave blank because that'll be your final so yep Oh, also attendance. I forgot about attendance. So attendance is like five percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as five. Um, well, I'm just going to leave it as a five total right here because that's how much I would get. And then there's a bonus. I would get um, one for that. And then I would also get that's one out of the overall grade. So that's why I'm just leaving it at five and whatever. So final, I have a final bonus too, which is like think point one or something like that I don't know uh, but yeah that's pretty much all the bonuses and everything I'm gonna leave this for the final there we go oh I'm sorry that would be our attendance and this is gonna be your final 
so it's good to actually have it tagged so that way you know where you, you know it's probably much easier for you so right here i have 100 on everything so what is the percentage in my criteria it's 10 percent. so i'm going to go ahead and write 10 points for that um this one i have a I don't know let's see so you're gonna have to go ahead and choose all of them and it tells you an average right here and with the average you have to multiply that with the percentage so I believe that's the assignment so that's 20 percentage right so go ahead to your calculator where I which I cannot find <laughs> there we go all right just type in 98.15 multiplied by uh, 0.2 which is going to be 19.63, 19.63, and then we have quizzes, which is, oh, let me see, okay, average 95, obviously, the, all right, so 95%, and the quiz average is 15%, or the quiz grade is 15, so 95 times 0.15, there we go, that's 14.25. Now we have the exams, which is pretty bad, guys. Like, I made, I could have made an A in this class so easily, but I decided to mess up on my second exam there. What am I doing right now? God, I'm so stupid. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So average is 70%. Ooh, that's pretty, that's not bad. 70 on the dot. <laughs> All right, so 70.6 times the exam average, I believe, is going to be, since it's 15% uh, for the first and the second one, we can add it together, so it'll be 30%. So we can multiply this with uh, 0.3. And we're going to have 21.18. So this is all the grades. And we have 5% for the attendance. That's 5 out of your overall grade and 1 bonus. And this is for the final bonus with the exam. Um, so yeah, let's see what's all that added to so right now I have a 71 average which is good that means that I don't even have to go to the final to pass the class but let's see how much I would need in my final to make it a in the class so right here in my syllabus I say the final is worth uh, 20 percentage so I'm um, so 20 percent is 20 points right so right here I'm gonna go ahead and write 20 points or 20 percentage and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because that's gonna confuse you guys um, so yeah, it's 20 percent right here so let me show it to you guys uh, so getting a 20 <laughs> getting a hundred is gonna bring me a 91 average so if I were to make a 19 um, that's a 90 that's like 95 so let me see I'm gonna go ahead and try a 18 now 18 points Let's see, 18 out of 20, that's 89. My teacher told me if I make anything above 89, I will get an automatic A. So I would need to get a 90 on my final to make an A in data structure, which is achievable, but it's going to be like really hard. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, let's say you want to see how much you want, um, how much you need to make for your, um, you know, to make a B in the class. So for me, to make it be in the class, all I need to do is like put 80 minus 71, which is obviously 9, but I'm just going to show you guys anyway. Uh, it's just like 9, or oh, 8.94, right? So I need 8.94 out of the 20, which is 40%, 45%. I need 45% on the final to make a B in the class. So for me to make an A in the class, I would need a 90%. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I think it's kind of confusing, but I'm pretty sure if you guys watch it again, it would be it would make it easier for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.